First, you look at two things, you know. Is he a good decision maker? And even with that, there's layers in it. Is he a quick decision maker or just a good one, okay? So there's different degrees in that. I think he's a horrendous decision maker. Um, is he accurate? <laughs> All levels of there. Is he completing passes or does he throw it where a guy can run after the catch? Does he play within the structure of the offense? Does he understand pass protection and blitzes and where he must go with the football? Can he throw it into voids and throw with anticipation? All of these things I've just described, scale from one to 10, he would be a one, a zero to a one on all those categories. I find him to be reckless as a player. And that is very disturbing when you transition to the National Football League. When you're running around and you have no business running, the ball should have come out. You can okay, you win Heisman trophies in college for doing that. In National Football League, you do that, you're gonna come back to the huddle. And I got five grown men blocking for me and you were making me look, I'm giving up sacks. I'm not gonna like that, son. The next time you do that, they're not gonna bust you in half. I'll bust you in half. And then when I got a dig route wide open and you don't throw it to me, the wide receiver's not gonna come back and go, hey, that's all right, kid, next time. Uh-uh, <laughs> throw the ball to me. You get it or I'll bust you in half. So forget about what the defense is gonna do to you. You cannot play with poor structure like that and survive and win any respect with your team. Now. I have not seen a game where he shows any sign of those qualities being able to transition to the National Football League. We talked about expectations. His skill set will never withstand the enormous pressure that's going to be required from people are talking the first pick overall or a top 10 to build a franchise, a team around with his poor skill set. It will crumble, it will crush him just the expectations based on the poor skill set he has. So you are going bust. Uh, if he's a first round, shoot, even my really a top th three rounds. He's, a, he's a, a fifth or sixth round grade. If you have a compensatory pick, grab him there. But not in the first round. I'm sorry, I got a question. Are you saying that Johnny Manziel may not even be worth a pick in the first three rounds? Oh, I wouldn't. There's, the, the project is so massive. There are so many so, major flaws. So what are your thoughts about people who believe he should be the first overall pick well, in the draft? Listen, you know, obviously it's not a perfect science, but I think people who were taking him in the first round, I'm if saying you first did, overall. First if you overall. took it first overall, I would think that staff would be gone in two years and whoever made that pick be gone in two years. You don't make that pick based on the other players that are available to you. You make that pick we got a question, you're evaluating players and their transition and their ability to transition to the National Football League very highly. Merrill Hodge, with all due respect, you have never ever been more wrong in your assessment of a football player than you just were about Johnny Manziel. Not only will Houston forever regret if they don't take Johnny with the first overall pick, but he, he won't be a bust He's going to be a franchise player. He's going to be a star. He will make pro bowls. We, we cannot be more diametrically opposed here. And as opposed to Khalil Mack, I watched every play that Johnny played on television, not coaches breakdown tape. I watched every play starting with the Florida game in what was his red shirt freshman year, his first start in college football. And as you well know, he did play in the Southeastern Conference as opposed to playing at the University of Buffalo. And in his first year as a starter, when everybody doubted him and, and a lot of schools would not recruit him, especially the school that he wanted to go to his whole life, the University of Texas, Chip Kelly did recruit him to go to Oregon and he committed there and then decided, well, if A&M will take me, I'll stay home. Nobody even thought he would start at A&M, but he did win the job and as a redshirt freshman, in two fewer games than Cam Newton did it, he broke Cam's single season total offense record. This is a rare playmaker with rare football skills, rare quickness, rare vision, rare playmaking creativity I have never ever seen before in a football player. Now he's going to shatter the mold, but he shattered it in the eyes of a lot of people I respect. We can go to the top, we can go to Saban, who called him as great a competitor as I have ever faced in 40 years of coaching. That's Coach Saban. We can go to a guy I called last year, this is over a year ago, Cliff Kingsbury. Do you know Cliff or have you, you crossed know. his path? 
Cliff played some pro football. He was Johnny's quarterback coach as a freshman, now the head coach at Texas Tech. When I, la when I asked Cliff, will these skills translate to pro football, he chuckled for about a minute at me on the phone, chuckled. He said, Skip, he's going to be a star at the next level. This is Cliff Kingsbury, and I'm going to take him to the bank. You gave me all the things he did in college. You gave me nothing to what transitions to the National Football League. Now, do I expect Cutcliffe, and there was nothing in Cutcliffe's um, sound there, that tells me that he believes he transitions to the National Football League. He described what he saw during the course of a game. I've seen him on TV. I would come away with that, too, going, boy, that was exciting. Boy, that was crazy. But when you look at how you must play in the National Football League, you have to have structure. You have to play within that structure, and there's a lot of things going. Pocket awareness, okay? I could argue there is no play I found or could find where he has any sense of fill, slides, moves, throws. Now, I find a lot the second that anybody is in, even in his area, and they could be a secure pressure, meaning somebody's blocking him, he can't wait to get off and run. His primary is to escape and run because it is a strength of his. That does not transition to the National Football League with a consistency. Could he make some plays in the NFL that are exciting? Absolutely. Will he be consistent enough to help your football team and win in the National Football League? Without a doubt, no way.